Hello everybody! It is Game Saru again and today we got, um, here are three more boxes. The second batch of FedEx shipments from, from Japan. Um, fortunately this time with none of the, uh, customs holdups that we had last time. So I'm gonna dig right into these. There's a couple things in here that are, uh, kinda just for me. But, uh, arcade related and, uh, Actually, I'm not sure how much of this is um, actually for a company, but let's dig into it and see what we picked up this time. I don't, I want to say I'm not going to do another batch soon because I'm getting really tired of the, um, the hassle, the cost. This was another thousand dollars to ship, for example. So, um, yeah, it's getting quite costly and I really don't, shouldn't be picking up so much. So I got to limit it to simple things, things that I'm already planning on getting or um, stuff that's just really actually quite useful or good to stock or anything like that because, yeah, it's a little ridiculous with COVID right now, so it's kind of hard to do. So first off, this one I'm pretty sure is going to be our cardboard stand-ups that we picked up. I'm going to set these aside real quick, see if there's anything else in there. I might open these last if there's, make a little bit of space first. Looks like that's really all that's in here, except for one here we've got a PCB. Uh, I think this is a UB PCB, um, since someone needed a UB for their cabinet. I'm going to hang on to it until they are ready, but um, just wanted to pick this up for them so that they wouldn't have to deal with it themselves. This should be a good upgrade for their cab. Out. And here we go. So this is current UV hardware. There we go. Actually, So just some UV hardware, uh, nothing terribly special. I'm gonna see if I can get this out of the way. That's all that was in this box, by the way, is just these stand-ups and um, that. I don't think, no, nothing else. Um, I'm fortunate that I had to go so big, and probably a big chunk of the cost was just in getting these. So you know, hindsight 2020. Some things maybe you shouldn't be picking up. Chuck that aside. Um, I'm going to try, actually, to get these stand-ups displayed for you. I'll uh, probably actually take the camera and look over them a little bit later. These are pretty tightly wrapped up in here. I believe two of these are from console games. I think the uh, Atelier series. The other one is something recent that just came out, which I believe is going to be that one there. Um, so if any of you music gamers have been watching Yahoo Japan or watching, you know, merchandise that's been coming out, well, if you're wondering what it would be like, what it's worth, what it's, you know, if it's worth the trouble, and look no further, I'll have it here. Okay. So yeah, this, these two are probably the Atelier ones. Um, I'm just going to cut these. So this one is actually sealed. Oh no, is this factory sealed? I think this is factory sealed. So I'm not sure which one this one is. Oh no, this is, yeah, this is one of the Ateliers. Um, it looks like it's been torn. I'm not too worried about cutting it again. But, uh, because I'm going to end up displaying this anyway. I'm not... What's the point in buying this stuff if you're going to keep it in the box? So these are not like the, uh, Death Smiles one that we got on the last container. These are... These should be full-size stand-ups. Um... 
And I picked, well, I picked these two up because they were quite cheap. They were really cheap um, when I was looking for others. Um, otherwise, I think I wouldn't have gone for them. Okay. There, this one's open. And here we've got some little stick-on flyers. It's for the game for PS2 there. Um, it's kind of cute. We'll open up the box, and we've got our full stand up here. All right. Now these are quite old. Um, I don't think I have the guts to go buy any of like the really expensive older ones because I, when I was looking, there are actually quite a few interesting older titles, stuff like the old Final Fantasies and whatnot, but they're pretty expensive, so. Anyway, here's our first waifu. There we go. I think that should be fully in the camera. If not, I'm going to do once over on these again later. Um, geez, that, this actually looks like, well, it may have been opened or not. Like, it looks like it hasn't been folded out, so it hasn't even been stood up before. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to kick this one aside. We'll come back to these. We'll, we'll take a look at these at the uh, end of the video. That's one of them. Here's the other one. Um, I think this is from one of the PS3 titles. Again, it looks like it's... Like, with the tape the way it is, it looks like it's factory sealed, but, like, you can see it's a little torn there. But, um... You can be careful cutting into this one, because it looks like it went straight into the cardboard underneath this, and I don't want to damage it, so... Let's cut this open... Forgive me my uh, lack of memory on the Atelier series. I don't quite remember the older games very well. Um, again, these were kind of a, an impulse pickup because I was already picking up another one. And I figured this was going to happen with that giant box being nothing but uh, the stand-ups. So I guess, if anything, doing this was one way to kind of share the shipping cost with some other interesting things that normally you would not you, if you bought it on your own you'd end up paying more than a couple hundred dollars on it just because of shipping costs all right so here's the other one let's get it all the way out and again i will show this off at the end yep this was for the one of the ps3 titles and this one a little i think that's quite a, that might be a little bit taller but uh really cool stand up there. Let's set that aside and we'll open up the third one, which is the one that I actually bought stand-ups to get. There. This one is brand new. Um, they just released this as a lottery, which of course means that they will they immediately show up on Yahoo Japan for anybody to buy. And anybody is me. <clears throat> so I am the crazy guy that decided to buy this. Even though it's kind of not the times and it's a silly thing. There we go, we got it out. I'm gonna pull out we got some papers here for it. Shut this aside. And, oh, it's, uh, that's just a piece of cardboard. I'm going to fold this out. And there she is. From Heroic Verse, this was a lottery-only stand-up. And it uh, looks like there's some tape here on the middle. It's supposed to tape it together. It looks like it's pretty not on there. I don't know if this is supposed to stay on or not, but it definitely came off. Um, looks a little, not really damaged or anything, but there we go. Anyway, that's that. This will go into the arcade when we're done, and I will display that. So, 
there's that. I'll kind of do, again, I'll do another, a really good uh, look over on this thing. Um, when I bring the camera over, I might stand it up all the way. Um, and you can take a look at it. And uh, hopefully, you know, if anybody crazy out there like me was looking to um, pick one of these up, this review might help them determine whether they actually want it or not. Okay, I'm gonna chuck this aside here. And we'll just dig into this second box here. Shove this up front and dig right in. Now, I'm trying to remember what else is in these boxes. I know um, we got a bunch of um, new Net City marquees. Again, just to kit stock of them. Same as the last time when we bought them. Um, I want to have them on hand if I ever need them for a cab. And they're just a part that seems like someone's always asking for, but is never up when they actually want it. So it's better to have something like that on hand when they ask, rather than having to go try and find it. And it looks like all of them are in here and they all look to be very well packed. So I'm just gonna pull one out. And after you can see here, this one, unlike, so the last, remember the, la the last time we got three of them, the, the corners were kind of cracked over here and here. There's a lot of little things. This one has some cardboard here along the top edge, along the side edges here. These look like they are very solid, in good shape. This one is Virtua Golf. I'm not gonna open these, they're all, uh, I don't think there's anything real special in all of them, but I just want to show you, ooh, these are even better packed. You can see these have some, some foam around the edges, so this one, these are much, much better packed than before. This is Sports Jam, right? Yeah, Sports Jam. Um, we've got WF Royal Rumble. What's in them doesn't really matter so much, but, uh, you know. Uh, this one is, oh, this was Radergy. Radergy Noah? I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think this one's Ratter G. Noah, which is actually kind of kind of nice one to have. Uh, we've got Toy Fighter and which one is this? Virtua Tennis Two. But anyway, they were just you know I got them because they were they were a good part to stock, and uh, the rest of what we have in here. Chunathan Crystal Plus poster. Um, I think I'm actually going to leave this sealed for the time being, but um, I might unwrap it at the end and show it off. It's They're not that uncommon right now. And I think this is two more marquees. I want to say this is two more new Net City marquees. Let me get into it. And if it is... That's nothing really special, so. Oh, it even, yeah, it says on it. Yeah, so that's just two more headers. So I got, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight more headers this time around. Um, it looks like this box is all just marquees and stuff. So the last one out of here, or last two? Yeah, this is two. We have here a Poppin' Music 11 Animella marquee. Uh, I just keep adding to that collection. And again, I think I only got these because I knew it would fit well in with a box like this. Um, but there's two in here. There's that one. And let's see what the other one is once I get it open. Yeah, so we've got Poppin' Music 11 there. And the one underneath is... Remember. Ah, yeah, right, right, right. Animal. His actual animal. So, uh, they're in pretty good shape. I think one of them might. Uh, no, this one's fine. Yeah, so that's two more marquees to the list. I think I've got like six or seven of them now. Um, yeah. And that box is now empty. Now, the more I look at this stuff as I open it, the more I realize just how bad the deal is with shipping these days, um, which sucks, but I guess I have to just, um, 
buy only the important things from now on. And I think these two runs were a good test of how things are. And honestly, if there's something that we need, we're going to have to buy it because um, we're not expecting EMS to come back for another six months at least. It's going to be a long time before you know mail goes normal, especially with how things are going in the U.S. right now. So there is a lot of air in this one to start out. So like, look look at these look at these air packets. They're huge. Um, so and, I, and I'm sure they had to do this for some of the stuff that's in there. You have to, you know, in order to get everything to fit right. But um, there are some. Look at this. There's another one. Enormous air packet right there. But at the same time, looking at this, I can tell everything in this box is very well packed. And um, one more time, I did not get any of their special packing or any of that other stuff to, to do this, and it still came in pretty good. So I definitely um, give them credit for that. So first, we have another Animella marquee here. This one's already all bubble wrapped up real tight, so I'm not going to quite open it too much, but it's a Poppin' 10. That is one that I really liked. I really wanted that, so I'm glad I got it. Um, what else do we have in here? Ah, we have a couple things for myself, some plush. Um, I saw that they made it, so I had to get it. And here is the life-size Yamper, who can go with all my other Poke Bros in the corner. Very cute. It's a Wan Pochi in Japanese. Very cute. The Pokemon that should never have evolved. And then I got another bundle here, which is a bunch of other plush. These are actually, I'm going to be giving these to my friend since I have, I already have the Celebi out of this bunch. Uh, here, I'll actually, I'll open, I'll open it up. Why not? There we go. So I picked up this Celebi at the Pokemon Center um, last year when I was there. Um, this just came along with a bunch, so I ended up having to get another one. Um, but mainly I got this bunch for the Pikachu here, which is amazingly adorable. I'm going to be giving that to my friend, um, along with uh, the other items that are in here. Uh, just turned out to be a very cheap and um, good gift for him. Got all three of the original starters there. Very cute. I part of me wants to keep it myself, but I uh, you know, sometimes you got to do things for the people you care about, and there's a little pin that comes with it. All right, I think that's it for personal stuff. I want to say most of this in here now is going to be um, parts and PCBs and stuff. I'm gonna rip right into this. I um generally offer, when I buy Vuelixes, um, and people buy them from me, I offer to give them either Fast.io or JVS when, uh, you know, depending on what's in it, happy to switch it out for them. Everybody wanted JVS IOs. I ran out of JVS IOs. I got at least one more. I've been having trouble getting much more than this, but I have to get them while I can. Um, I don't know that it's a mistake to, um, offer that to people because I like to offer a good service, but it definitely was a mistake to run myself out of them. Um, this is going to be a PCB. I don't know if it doesn't seem to be labeled. I'll open that up and see what it is, but I'm going to get whatever else is out of this box first. We've got here another, I believe this is another um, Dissidia IO. Um, just grabbing these while I can also because they're, they're good parts to have around. Um, this is very light and not labeled, so I'm not sure what that is, we'll open that. And this is very big and a little heavier, we'll see what's in that, I think that's, I want to make sure, yeah this box is empty, they uh, really, really cost a lot to ship a couple things. I think this one is a Tekken 7, if I'm right. I think there's a one Tekken. We already got the other PCB, so I'm not sure what else is in the rest of the boxes yet. It's just these three, and then I think we're done. Okay, so 
first off, there's an I.O. board, I think, in here. I don't remember. Oh, well, actually, so yeah, this is, um, this is something I picked up for a local friend of mine who's having, um, who picked up the Junk 2DX. Remember, the top lights didn't work. So this is the um, board, the driver board, for the top lights. Um, and the rest of this box should be the rest of the parts for it. So we've got a halogen here. We've got eight of them. Um, again, I don't even know if these work, but you know they were, I think, 100, 150 bucks, and uh, you get all the parts to. So I can bring this over to his place, and we can try and make that work. Uh, set that aside. Go into this light box here. Nice. Here we go. Cut this open. Let's see what's in the lighter box. Let's see what I forgot. Oh, yes! Oh, I forgot about this. So, um, and I'm glad it actually came with it. My uh, original, oh, this one's kind of beat up too, but that's fine. My, I actually got one of these um, back when they first came out. And they were a little bit more pricey to get over than they should have been because they come with this box. And I mean, I'll, I'll point it out. Oh God, the box is, yeah, the box is pretty tarry too. Uh, let me try to get this out without, oh God, yeah, I know it's a, uh, I don't want to damage this too much. So it comes with this cute box. I have, I have like 10 Shishimos, but um, this one comes with this cute box here. Um, this is part of the, the, uh, what you buy. It's not like, it's not, not how it comes packaged. Anyway, it's the medium size Shishimo. I've got like 10 of these things. They're all over my popping machine. But um, I wanted to get another one just because my box is kind of ruined and get a new box. But this one's pretty beat up too. That's okay. You can go with the rest of his brothers. And this last one, uh, I, I don't know. I actually don't know what's in here. It's really heavy. So, oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is actually the Tekken. Wow, this is, I'm surprised it is. It's, it barely fits in this box. So again, I've just been stocking up on these whenever I can. There's, they're a couple hundred bucks plus all this cost to get it over here. Um, they're not very common. Uh, I know that these are something that I'm gonna need. Uh, they're not easy to find when you need them. So picked it up. And that is another Tekken 7 ES3. All right. I think that's everything out of there. I'm gonna clear some space in here and we can take a closer look at some of the stuff that we picked up, some of the bigger stuff, and I will show those off. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back here, everyone, and uh, I've got three stand-ups here, um, all stood up except for her over here, who um, apparently the, the kickbacks on this are really short. For some reason, it just seems to wanna to, um, not really stand up so i just have it leaning up for now um so here's our first one um just wanted to get a nice good look over that the second over here um this is a much taller one it looks it's not so much a cutout as um as a just a regular store display and then we've got our himmel here um, from Heroic First, and this, like I said, this one just came out. Um, I'll take a little closer look here. I think I'll probably, I, I feel like I'm going to take this tape off and redo it. It does stand, it's fine on its own and whatnot, but, um, normally, like, if there was tape, it would be on the back side. Like, I think, yeah, this one has the tape here on the back side, um, which is, I think, what it's supposed to be. I don't know if you can see that. But um, this one, for some reason, is on the front, and it just doesn't really look that good. Which is weird, because there's no reason why they couldn't have couldn't have put it back there. Well, who knows? Anyway, um, other than that, it looks good. Uh, of course, it's brand new. It seems to stand just fine. I was able to uh, set it up, and uh, with no problem there. So, yeah, if you're looking to pick these up, they are quite nice, and... Uh, give you an idea it's you know it's pretty pretty big yeah so anyway 
that's that. Here's the papers that came with it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show those, um, all three of these, um, in their full glory, since uh, they're they're actually pretty neat. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for this time around. We will see you in the next video.